Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and I got a question from uh, Coheed in the chat room. And uh, he uh, sent me a message asking me about my HP Mini 1035NR, basically a follow-up on my review of the 1035NR, and how Windows 7 is performing as it stands right now. He also asked if I would revert back to Windows XP Home, given the current state of affairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of poke around here. Here's my jazz fingers here um, jazz hands <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna first show you the let's go to let's right click on computer and do properties here and uh, I'm gonna show you the system rating I'm gonna try uh, I'm not gonna touch the camera but uh, you look at that it says 2.3 for the Windows Experience Index Take that what you will. Um, that's the Windows thing. That's the, the benchmark number that uh, they calculate based on various aspects. I've upgraded this to two gigs, two gigabytes of RAM, and um, this is 32-bit edition of Windows 7. So just so you get an idea of what I'm dealing with here. So it's a 2.3 on the Windows Experience Index, and um, ultimately it's running okay. So just some highlights let me just launch Google Chrome here and you'll see how fast it comes up so it comes up pretty good I'm gonna load a few tabs let's do friend feed let's do my site uh, maybe I'll do a, a yeah here's Hulu and uh, let's do uh, uh, Google Reader so that's five tabs and uh, or actually four tabs in Google Chrome and now I'll launch Firefox as well so I'm kinda getting into the multitasking aspects of this so let's go to Google Docs uh, actually I'll, I'll go to I'll go to Google Gmail something that's maybe a little bit intensive on the JavaScript side and we'll see how quickly that behaves Oops, that's not the right. Huh? So it's loading now. So it's it's loading pretty fast, right? So let's go over here. Let's load up YouTube.com. And this is this is pretty much just some quick performance tests of me doing some things. And while that's loading, I'll go over here and I'll load up a Saturday Night Live video on Hulu. So far, it hasn't slowed down yet. And that's the point I'm making is that Windows 7 with the two gigabytes of RAM is very very good at multitasking unfortunately I don't have office or anything heavier on here I have I do have twirl that'll eat up the memory so a Twitter client for uh, Adobe or Twitter client still full screen with that a little bit choppy <laughs> I can sit here and watch that all day. All right. Anyway, that's uh, that particular thing. And did Toro launch? I don't think Toro launch. Maybe I didn't tap it. Oh. Maybe Twirl's already open. Yeah, it's already open. I'm sorry. I forgot I put this thing to sleep. So Twirl's already open. Um, here's TweetDeck. I'll open that. So if there's anything else you want me to try, I can tell you as far as, I mean, I can try to do it in performance-wise. Um, one thing people were asking about, and let me go to my videos, is high definition on the, on the, on the HP Mini. Uh, yeah, it ain't cool, man. That's all I got to say. I got like six or seven apps open now, but uh, even if I had nothing open, let's do my little my new coffee video. I'm quite proud of this, but it's going to be a slideshow. As you can see, up uh, that uh, uh, trying real hard green screen of something. Yeah, yeah. There's there's the pot now. Yeah, it's already buffered. It's oh man. 
Actually, it's just still buffering a little bit, but still, it's, it's still going to be horrendous performance here. So, with the two gigabytes of RAM, Windows 7 can do everything I throw at it, and then some. Um, namely, not the, the stuff that I just showed you, like the high definition video, CPU intensive stuff, graphical games are just not going to work no matter what you do. So, I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, will I go back to Windows 7? That is a good question. The, the, the biggest annoyance I have right now, I mean, will I go back to Windows XP Home? The, the biggest annoyance I have right now is that occasionally I get this popping noise from the speakers. And I think it's a glitch with the sound drivers. And it's just like, I get it like maybe, as the computer runs, I'll get it like five times in like three hours. Sometimes it's like every five minutes, sometimes it's like every 30 minutes. It's just annoying popping noise. There it is. It just happened. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> it just popped just then. Um, but it's an annoying popping noise. That's the only thing that's getting on my nerves. And um, when Windows 7 goes live in August, that will be my motivation to go back to Windows XP Home. So um, I don't see myself going back to Windows XP right now. Uh, I think I'm happy with Windows 7 right now. I can do everything I need to do. I can use Twitter. I can use social networks. I can use the browser. I can use YouTube. I can use the video. I can. Uh, I got my Bible study programs on here. I got eSword. I got Yahoo Messenger. I got iTunes. I even, you know, I listen to my music on my library on my MacBook Pro. So it can do everything that I need it to do, and then some. But as far as going back to XP, I don't. I don't foresee myself going back to XP until this particular beta expires, which is like August. So I got a little bit of time. All right, this is Borna from Borna.tv, um, and I uh, hope this answers your question, Coheed, about the HP Mini and Windows 7 performance versus XP Home. I really don't have uh, XP Home to compare it to right now, but I can tell you based on my visual experiences that you know I'm pretty satisfied with Windows 7. All right, take care.